is situated in the southwest of Dublin's inner city. At the end of the 19th century and right up to the middle of the 20th century, it was the engine of Dublin's economy, with industries like tannery and particularly distillery thriving. There was a strong relationship between industry and the community, with companies like Guinness supporting community projects and housing projects through strong outreach and development initiatives. Unfortunately, during the late 20th century, with businesses facing increasing pressure to improve productivity and raise profit, local labour forces were reduced as more modern technologies replaced human intervention. Tradesmen like the Coopers were let go, and over half of the real estate in the St James's Gate Brewery became redundant. Over a generation, the Liberties area began to suffer. Today, the Liberties is considered one of the most disadvantaged areas in Dublin. During the incredible success of the Irish economy in the 1990s, the Irish government initiated a number of integrated area plans to tackle disadvantage in the city. The Coombe Liberties area was part of this plan and the digital hub was established. The plan was to take over the redundant parts of the Guinness Brewery and convert them into the state-of-the-art digital media innovation space or digital hub. The anchor tenant for the digital hub was Media Lab Europe, the European partner of the world-famous Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Media Lab opened its doors in 2000 and as the lab evolved a decision was made to incorporate a computer clubhouse on the campus as a way of connecting the activity of the lab to the local community. The Clubhouse is based on four principles. The first principle is that projects are developed around a design and construct principle. The members dream up projects, plan how they can be realised and then learn how to use state-of-the-art technology to facilitate their realisation. The second principle is that the projects are based on passion and interest. Projects start with what a young member is interested in doing, passion being a powerful force that is a shame not to use. The third principle is the idea of building community to realise new dreams and perspectives. Expert volunteers work with the members on their projects and in a strange dynamic way, new perspectives on either side of the digital divide are formed. The young people develop new role models and the mentors deepen their understanding of what it is like to be on the wrong side of the digital divide. There is something very powerful in this emergent community. The clubhouse is run by the community. This is an essential part of the project, as they have the expertise in dealing with many of the young people in the area. Technology skills are not enough. A strong technical team anchored with community support is crucial in order to make the clubhouse a success. The fourth principle is probably the most important. The clubhouse is designed as a safe place to explore and experiment in. There is no right or wrong, just experimentation, exploration and learning from the outcomes. The idea here is to cultivate confidence in the members that then provides energy and direction and the ability to take on new challenges. In many ways, the first step of any learning process should be confidence. Once confidence has been established, the future becomes easier to negotiate. Yeah, you can see a, a difference in when the young people come in first, they can be quiet, I suppose timid, not really sure what they're doing. And over time, you can see through both the, the technology and the relationships that their confidence really builds. It gives them uh, a lot of opportunities to sort of prove that they can do things, maybe stuff that they wouldn't have an opportunity to do outside here. Young people come to the clubhouse for many different reasons. To, 
do projects and find stuff about people and try to get to know everybody and be, uh, make them one of my friends. Like I have loads of friends at home as well. Mm -hmm. I learned that you could you could um, do di all different projects. You could do arts, graffiti, computers. You can make CVs. You can go to Photoshop. It's just uh, it's something to do because where I live, there's not really to do where I live. So it's fun. It gets you out of trouble and all, and it. Like, it helps you learn things about the computer that you don't even know. You can do really anything that's possible to do on a computer. You can do anything. You can make plasticine and do Photoshop. You can go on the internet. You can do really anything. Make games and all. When I was younger, it was um, just a, an interesting thing I wanted to try out. It's um, because like I've been to uh, clubs in the community, gone hanging around in a. Uh, the area, and then I was told about this uh, clubhouse where you can use technology and computers, etc. Seemed interesting at the time, and then I just started coming, and it was fun. Mentors also come to the clubhouse from many different perspectives and reasons, and often commit long periods of time to projects, and really have to be innovative in their delivery. It's great being able to help kids and use my few talents and hobbies and all that, and have a bit of a laugh at the same time. They asked me to help them with um, softwares or computers or the internet, arts and crafts, whatever they want to do, I'm just here and I help them out with it. I look after the music in here, so um, in respect of the computer type music, so anything to do with sequencers, samplers, keyboards, remixing, production, all that kind of thing. Obviously it keeps, keeps kids off the street, you know, because, um, you know, uh, it's dark out there, the, this particular weather in the winter time, cold, wet. So gives them somewhere to come, gives them somewhere to socialise, gives them somewhere that they can learn as well. Mentors would offer, uh, I suppose, a couple of roles. One will be their expertise around the technology. I think more importantly will be around the relationships that they build with young people. Sometimes it can take uh, uh, quite a while for the relationship to build, but it can build a, a very strong relationship based on, based on trust and respect. And young people can have a look at the mentors as role models as well. They help me with SketchUp sometimes, or if not, uh, the people that are good at art help me with my art projects. They help me and they're always there when I need me help and Kieran and Jonas are great. On a day-to-day -day basis, the Clubhouse is making the young people's lives so much better. It gives them access to industry standard hardware and software, as well as allowing them the opportunity to work with expert volunteers who work with them on projects they're interested in. They do this through the core drop-in service, which is for young people between the age of 8 and 18. As well as this service, we also have an alumni programme for young people who have gone past 18. A clubhouse to career and clubhouse to college programme, which supports young people as they make the step between school and college. As well as the Adobe Youth Voices programme, which is exceptionally good at engaging with teens over 15 and helps give them critical media analysis skills. Last year I was uh, really lucky to get accepted for a clubhouse to college scholarship and the scholarship gives me the opportunity to apply to a third level college of my choice and in order to win the scholarship I had to uh, submit a portfolio and a project to America about who I was and let them understand what kind of person I was and let them know why I deserved to get this money and why it would be good for me. You, you need a lot of computer skills to even when it comes to college like let's say using of different softwares like AutoCAD like I'm doing engineering and we're using AutoCAD, which is more of designing 3D dimension objects and building of cars, prototypes, like that. And other stuff will be like using of the Microsoft Office, like typing skills fast, you know, because uh, you need to type the lab reports and all the assignments in. And, and that's all skills that I learned them through Clubhouse and I brought them with me into the college. Over time, the young members often develop extraordinary competency in IT skills. It also gives them new perspectives on what they might want to do or aim for next. They make their own films, including storyboarding, music creation, production, editing. They have created newsletters, a clubhouse calendar, and have learned how to build robots, and even how to build their own three-dimensional games. The music video that we are doing at the moment is uh, on a project called Adobe Youth Voices, and um, this is um, a global project where all the youth put their voices to the world and let them know 
what's going on, which people tend to, I mean, the communities and others tend to ignore, in a sense, and uh, just to give them the confidence of saying things that they see, which other people don't see, especially we consider like adults tend to ignore sometimes. stress how, how warm it is, it's just a nice place to come with nice people, really friendly people and everyone is a volunteer and they're all just great, everyone you can get on, you can be introduced to new people every different week, you come back to us and all the volunteers, you come and go with they're all such nice people. You come in here and you feel appreciated and respected in the sense that you all treat each other equal and the same, despite the fact the age and where you come from, it doesn't matter. All the differences are kept aside and we all work as a team and then that was where it's really good because if he wasn't, I wouldn't have been here every day. And I love it here. The Computer Clubhouse is a fun space for young people to come and learn. It's a space where they can critically analyse media, work with expert volunteers, and above all else, it demonstrates the best in 21st century learning, which is imperative to a young person's success and gives them a better chance of having a successful life.